Arsenal 2, Fulham 2, and yes, Mikel Arteta, that draw, let's call it a defeat. Even though you get a point for it, let's just call it a, a defeat. Mikel, Mikel Arteta, see, I'm, I'm so angry, I can't get the words out of my mouth. Mikel Arteta literally fumbled this one today. Why are you dropping Gabriel Magales? Why are you shoehorning Kai Havertz into this team? Why is Thomas Partey playing at right back and then trying to push him into the midfield? It's not working. It's simply not working. You got away with it against Forest at home. You got away with it against Crystal Palace. You know, even you though know you went as a 10 men. And then today, yet again, the team does not look organised. It looks a shadow of what it was last season. Going into this season, you added in three players. OK, Timber got injured. OK, but you're still shoehorning Kai Havertz into this team. It's not working. It's so easy to see. But yet, you force it and force it and force it. I'm not going crazy here. But everyone can see it. Everyone in the stadium can see it. Even if people that are positive, try and be positive at, about having Kai Havertz in this team, will watch this game and say, OK, enough's enough. Three games in, it's not going to work. You cannot play him against Manchester United next week at home. No, there's no way Mick Arteta can be that stupid and be that stubborn. And we know he's a stubborn person. If he plays Havertz next week, we are going to get annihilated. Man United are not that great. They just about beat Nottingham Forest today at Old Trafford. Just about beat them. But they'll be up for that game. And Kai Havertz is not up for the games. I'm all talking about his body language. You can just see it. There's something broken inside of this player. There is something broken. I just couldn't believe what I was watching. And this is not all about Kai Havertz. It's not a Kai Havertz bashing. It's going to be a bit of a Mikhail Arteta bashing because it, it just should have gone back to the 4 3 3. Very simple. But when you're shoehorning in someone in extra because you felt like you had to because of the amount of money you paid, so what? You paid the money, still put him on the bench, bring him into the game, introduce him into the game. So I got hooked at half time for Enketia. You know, Enketia scored. Fair enough. Okay. But to me, Martinelli was pants all game. Game, he was rubbish. Saka, rubbish all game. Odegaard, rubbish all game. Declan Rice, what can you do? You're by yourself in the middle. But I'm still going to say it. No impact into the game. Thomas Partey, no impact into the game. Not one bit. Fabio Vieira had a cameo, and he assisted in the two goals that we scored. Then I'll say it again. Goodness. Martinelli, rubbish. Saka, rubbish. Uh, Trossard, non-existent. Declan Rice wasn't existent. Thomas Partey, non-existent. These guys, Kai Havertz, as well, just walking around. He was not even in the game. Simple passes he couldn't even make. Thomas Partey, simple passes he couldn't make. Saka, simple passes, couldn't make. Oh, yes, in what, the first, what, minute? And then he's missed a pass, and then they scored a goal. It was, was a lucky goal. Let's, let's be clear. Let me clear. Let's be clear about this. Their goal was lucky. He didn't mean to shoot the way he shot. He meant to try and chip it over Ramsdale. But either way, that's not Ramsdale's fault. The second goal, not Ramsdale's fault. And Martinelli, oh, he's trying to just go over. I think he's going to go and get a free kick. Kick the ball out. This is what happens when you just don't do basic fundamentals. You're not always going to get the free kick, but you can clear your lines. That's why I said Martinelli, rubbish all game. I've done absolutely nothing. No, there's no contribution at all whatsoever. What I saw today, this result, this draw, dropping two points, okay, fine, you've still got seven points. Okay, you know, some teams will take that. Some teams will take that. But Mikel Arteta, you've got to stop being stubborn. Go back to what was winning. Gabriel was on the bench, Magalhães I'm talking about, put him back in defence, put Ben White back into right back. And what you ever want to do at left back, Zinchenko will come in next week. Go back to the 4-3-3. Three, three. Look, the only shining light you can see is that Vieira came on. He had an impact. He had something to prove. Doesn't mean he's going to start next, which I'm not saying that. You know, Eddie and Ketia, looked a bit lively, got his goal. You know, shut up, Mikel Arteta right there. See, you dropped me. You know, I scored last week. Did he score last week? No, no, to God. I'm sorry. He missed two sitters last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but at least he came on and redeemed himself and scored a goal. And that was a hard goal to score. Ball whips in first time, beats the first man, bang, and Ketia is there. Good goal. Guess that gets one of their players sent off. Good contribution. Oh, the thing is, Mikel Arteta, you have got to stop being stubborn. This result is on you. The formation, the setup is on you. Fulham are ready for it. 
You have to change it. That's the only thing I'm going to say now. You have to change it. Because we look so predictable how we're going to play. It was so easy for them overrun us in the midfield. And at the end, we're trying to go in one-on-one with Saliba. I thought Saliba was going to bring him down, and that was it. It would have been game, set, match, Saliba off. Then we lost one of our best defenders. For what? Trolls, oh my God, that guy's a beast, isn't he? He is a beast. But that game should have been out and dry ages ago. Arsenal just lacked creativity. They tried, they hustled, they bustled, but they were, it was lack of creativity. I was sitting there going, we ain't winning today. I didn't think it was even going to score. Then to go 2 1 up, I'm thinking, okay, you see this game out. 10 men, see this game out. Then I was on the delays. So I thought, okay, let me just quickly go online just to see where we are. I think I'm about three minutes behind. Lo and behold, what I see, 2 2. That's the worst one times the thing to do when you're behind watching a game online. Yeah. But where do we go from here? Where do we really go? Do we, am I just being angry? Are you guys angry as well? And if you are angry, let me know how you feel in the comments below. And remember, while, this is, while you can subscribe for free for now, I'm saying this, while you can subscribe for free for now, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification so every time you upload, you will not miss a show. Okay. I'm calling down. I, sometimes I don't like doing reactionary videos because sometimes you, you say things that you don't really mean. But I, I, I really f sat back and I said, okay, look, let's just talk from the heart. It wasn't a great performance. We didn't play well. Make about Teta dropped out. Yes, we're at home, but there's things that you experiment in pre season, you experiment behind closed doors, do games behind closed doors when you can get this right. You don't do it when there's three points on the line and you have to be consistent. And playing this way and shoehorning Kai Havers into the team again, I'm not bashing the guy. It's not his fault that we bought him. It's not his fault. But he's not equipped for this style of football that we played so well last season. We cried for Trossard. Okay, we just tr we tossed up Trossard straight up front. I would have happened to, you know, maybe drop Martinelli into this game, just dropped him, bring him on. And then you have Martinelli and then Havertz to bring on. Then you can look and say, wow, we can really change up. Gabriel Jesus, we had to rush him back. And even though Arteta said that he was ready, he, he, he wasn't really, really true. And that was a desperate call. It had to change against Manchester United next week. We have to play 4 3 3 or 4 2 3 1. Havertz and Odegaard, that's not going to work. That, they, they, there's no chemistry there. And, and yes, it's early. You know what I'm saying? There's no chemistry. But some people just pick it up straight away. Some people just have that energy straight away. Odegaard's very left footed. Havertz is very right footed. It was tough. It was a, it was a tough watch today. Sack was so predictable. I'm, I'm not having a go at the guy. You know, he has been pretty much our saviour. He scored a goal again, a penalty, nice penalty. And he gets the ball, he's just going to cut inside. Martin, he gets the ball, he's just, just going to cut inside. No one takes him to the byline. Saka looked so scared that a couple of times today when he had the ball one-on-one, -on -one, he didn't want to take anyone on. He just didn't. Oh, the God, a couple of times where he could have got a few shots off. He looks like he's like winding it up and then he's like, it's like that thing, you can see a mile off what he's going to do. Oh, here we go. Looks like he's winding it up, but he's going to cut it back and then come inside and... It was predictable today. We were so predictable. And Michael Silva, he, he formulated a game plan and he snuffed us out. He did. He, he turned it into a good game. I'm here for football. I'm here to watch good games. But Mikel Arteta, you've got to sort this out. Anyway, there's enough rambling going on before I maybe start, you know, really going off the deep end. <laughs> but all, all in all, look, point well deserved both sides. No, Arsenal should have seen that game out. They, they was losing, they drew, took the lead, and then they threw it away again. Martinelli, what the hell was you doing? He had a chance to clear your lines. Zinchenko, bad, dodgy pass. Everything about what we've done today, we gave Fulham these chances. We gave them. Fulham didn't give us the chances. We had to earn it. We had to fight for it. And that's the problem. We are doing this, and you go back to the last three, four games at the start of last season, watch those games back, watch the highlights, you'll see what I'm talking about. Arsenal do this every time. And make my Arteta, this is on you. This is on you. So again, if you like the show, like, subscribe, turn on notifications on so you don't miss the show every time we upload. Thank you for watching. I hope your weekend's not ruined. See you later.